Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would highly suggest that you do so and also become the fan of the uh, Facebook page as well. This way you will be get, getting the notification of any new tutorials I post as soon as I post. Okay, so <clears throat> in today's tutorial we are going to um, to s learn how to read from a text file uh, and uh, as you as you already know that this is a series of uh, tutorials going on on the f on the f on uh, different aspects of uh, files how to uh, manage files create them manage them you know uh, etc uh, so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to read from file in the previous tutorial we basically learned about the um, about how to open the file, close the file, how to write to a text file, and we also created a small database. Um, so uh, now we will learn how to read from a file. So let's get started. As you can see right now, this is kind of a template um, that you know you always use to uh, to when you are working with uh, files. So you have a file pointer defined, and then you do an off f open on your file. You specify the file name here and the mode in which you want to. Uh, open the file. So let's call our file name as data.txt, which will have. We are assuming that that file already has the data, and then we have. We are specifying that we are actually trying to do uh, open this file to to read the data from it instead of writing it to it. This will only return a p file, a, a valid pointer to the file descriptor, if it could successfully open the file for example if the file does not exist it will return null and if it return, returns null um, it this will fail and it will uh, this comparison is going to fail and then it's going to print this message out so we will come here only if it was successfully able to open the file and then we will do whatever we have to do here and then we will eventually close the file so let's see how what we are going to do here so before we start um, um, let's let's um, let's look at the f function that we are going to use to op uh, to read from the file. So as we learned before, to print on the on the screen or on the console, we have to use the printf statement, and to print on the file or write to a file, we have to use f printf. Similarly, we have if you, we want to enter uh, if you want to accept or input the or read the data from the user from the console, we basically use uh, scanf for that purpose um, to in the same way to read from the file we use fscanf now there are other functions to read from the file as well as from 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 the user uh, but we will we will look at them later but you know fscanf or scanf is very widely uh, it's very um, it's it's not a good function by the way but to use but you know it's a very versatile function in the sense that it could read all kinds of data like a string data the integer data and all kinds of data in, in this just one single function call right uh, whereas the all the other functions to input the data are very specific to what kind of what type of data we are trying to input and uh, and stuff so anyway so let's uh, since we are learning here let's use the function f scanf Okay, and just like before, when we have to input from the user, we do scanf, and then we specify the format of the of the data that we want to, uh, the type of the data or format specifier that basically corresponds to the type of the data that we want to uh, read, and then we follow by the variable names. Uh, for example, if you want to ent input a string, this is what you do: you declare a f um, a string of uh, whatever size you 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 expect the user to enter and then you basically do this you specify that it's a string and then specify the variable or the address of the location where you want the data to go to the string that the user input it since the name is the array itself it's the string itself it's an array of characters and the name of an array actually represents the address so this is this will provide the address of the location where the data is going to go in the exact same way you could actually do a f scanf which is basically a file scanf all the functions related to files uh, you may have already noticed that they start with the letter f um, the first argument, just like an fprintf, you have to specify the 
file descriptor here. And the other two are other arguments are exactly the same as the scanf, whatever you we, we have here. So you see that? So very simple, if you want to read a, as a name from a file, this is what you do, okay? And then this will basically, you know, this string will be read and it will be stored in this variable called name. And then you can always print this name out uh, on the screen if you want to. So let's get let's let's give it a try but before we do that obviously we have to have a file so this is this is where my file data.txt is right now it's empty uh, as you can see you don't have to have a program uh, you don't have to write an, a program using fprintf to be able to um, create the file you can always go to notepad or something as long as the file is a text file you could always create it like this and then let's see if had let's let's say it has um, it has one uh, string, one one name, Joe, in there. Okay, so we basically we should be able to read that name inside this variable name here, and then print it out. So we should see on the screen we should see Joe written because it read it from this file, data.txt. Okay, so let's compile it by pressing F9, and we did not see anything on the screen. Uh, and why is that? Oh, never mind. I left the scanf. I, this was just to understand, uh, just to explain the similarity between the f scanf and the scanf. So it was expecting for me to enter some string there. We really don't don't need that. So let's uh, run it again here. So we saw that Joe. So what happened here? It opened the file. It was successfully able to open it because the file exists, and it has this data, which is the name of this person, Joe. And then we actually do a f scanf, which basically says the read from this file, which we just opened, and then read a string from it, and then store it in name. And the, what, what, whatever, what is the, what is the string that it has? Ah, oh. oops. Here we go. The string is Joe, right? So this is what we. Dot, this is what we see, Joe, right here. Okay, so it's very simple. Um, remember, the strings are actually the way the strings are read from f scanf. Um, let's not go go there. Like, I don't have much time to explain. It, so let's let's do something else. Let's say there is a number followed by that a string. Okay, so say a score, right? So we have to provide the address of a score, and I'll declare a score as an integer here. Uh, let's see so and in the file we will write right after here after Joe we will write um, 100 okay so see the similarity here the string followed by a space followed by a number percent D so you could read both of them in the same call to F scanf okay in just one single call you just do percent s percent d boom it will read the name and put it in the in name and it will read the uh, integer score and put it in the variable score right so this is how the file looks like so let's let's run it and oh we I mean, need to print it also uh, okay and percent d you could print it in the same it says print the string then the next line print the number then the next line and what's the number score right and then we start we have to recompile it and look at this it read Joe and hundred in just one statement here okay with percent s and space the string space number which was the format of our file here string space number right and and it read it and it stored the name in the name variable and score in the score variable and then it printed out and the way it printed out was a string next line then it's number and then next line so this is what we got the string next line number and next line so I'm gonna stop here